All the way back out to Brink. Brink backing it in, kicks it cross court. As it comes down, here it is, the final count. That's the game right there. It is a final. History is made as Benson has pulled the upset of the century, defeating two-time defending champion Southridge 66-42. My name is Eric Knox. I am the executive director of HALA. I also am the head girls basketball coach at Benson Tech. And I've been on staff here at Imago Day for the last six years as one of the executive pastors. I'm Ajay Okum. I am a forward at Benson High School and I'm class of 2020. Um, my name is Sierra, but I go by Cece. Um, I'm a senior at Benson and I am a point guard. Um, and then this past year we've we won the state uh, championship, and yeah, it took a lot of hard work, and we dedicated a lot of time into it, and we finally accomplished our goal that we had since middle school because we've been together for so long, so. The story is real simple. The principal, uh, Curtis Wilson, had just got the job there, and he was trying to remake the school, and part of that remake was remaking the sports programs. He had heard that I moved back to Portland. He reached out, he said, hey, I have a job, a coaching job available for you if you're interested. I thought, they, I thought he was talking about boys because all my life has been working with black boys. And all my coaching for the most part had been working, coaching black boys. It wasn't that I had anything against girls. I just, I had never really coached in that space before on that level. And so, you know, that felt pretty overwhelming for me. The principal said, look, we have other candidates that we want to interview, but we're going to wait seven days and give you a week to think about it. But we really want you to take this job. And I went and talked to Rick after about three days of praying about it. And Rick said, well, I don't see how it changes. Uh, the mission is still the same. The only difference is the gender. And that hit me. Like, he's absolutely right. Like, the mission does not change. And so I, I took the job and it, has changed literally the trajectory of my life. I've been on the most incredible, wildest ride I've ever been on in my life, outside of being married to my beautiful wife. Well, I started playing basketball when I was in sixth grade. I was supposed to be a fifth grader. I started playing with Hala, and I was picked up with Cece. Uh, Coach Knox came to my school and found me, came in the gym, and I was playing basketball. And there it started a crazy journey with him. I live with my sister, so, uh, my parents aren't around as much, so I like I look to him as like my father. Um, we've spent like a lot of time together. Like I know him like the back of my hand. He knows me like the back of his hand. Like his family is like opened up to me. So I don't know. He's just yeah. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. Like he's just like a parent to me. That's how I look at him. I know I was a kid that you know saw the breakup of my family at a real young age, um, and I know the impact of that. Uh, I've been disappointed by a lot of adults growing up. So I know how important it is when you show up into these spaces where kids have that same story and you say, I'm here to pay attention. I'm here to dream with you. I'm here to sit with your thoughts. I'm here to tell you everything that you think you can't do, you can do. We're going to kick the door wide open and make this happen. And many kids, especially black and brown kids, they come from a culture of no. Like our society tells them no. And uh, Hala is a space where we create a culture of yes, yeah, yes, hell yeah. We can make this happen. The beautiful piece about partnering with Imago is this church has become our kids' home. Uh, Benson's right up the street, and just about every day you'll hear the ball bouncing in the gym or kids will be in one of the classrooms doing homework. Uh, this is second home to them, um, and they love being down here, and it makes my work a whole lot easier. Um, one day I was working here in, in my office, and a bunch of my kids were sitting on our couches in my office or on the floor, and they were all doing their homework. 
And my assistant at that time was a guy named Joe. And uh, the kids didn't know he was my assistant. And so he walked in so we could, they were doing their homework quietly. And so he came in, didn't want to interrupt, but we had to do, go through our things to do list so that he could get back to work. So we were going through our things to do list and after we got done, Joe left. And one of my kids goes, whoa, Coach Knox. I said, why? He says, how do you get white people to work for you? I want your job. <laughs> and I, I, I stepped back for a moment and I said, you know what, that's the kingdom of God. What a witness this is for this kid to see dominant culture working for a minority like myself in this space. Um, that's a different way of recalibrating, um, one, the story of Imago and allowing this kid to see uh, relationships in a different kind of way and power in a different kind of way. And to me, that was such a huge witness in the moment of, of kind of what Imago is uh, as a church um, and the impact it had on this kid, the impression it left on this kid that, that minorities don't, well, majority culture doesn't work for minorities. And uh, that kind of representation to be able to show this kid what the kingdom of God looks like and what relationships look like upside down from their perspective.